Hello friends, welcome to welcome back to my channel if you're new here. And today, as you can tell from the title, readathon, Creeptober Readathon, which is the readathon um continuation from Mermaid Readathon. If you don't know, um I was one of the co-hosts there. My team was Coral and my team won. <laughs> so we are doing Creeptober. And I picked the next readathon for obviously this month in October. I wanted to do November, but I felt like we were going to be too busy with my birthday, with Kinsey's birthday too. So I felt like doing October before I saw overtime as well would be more helpful. But yeah, let's get into it. I will link down below Chloe's video, of course, as always, because she's the main one who helped with the graphics and everything. So shout out to you, bestie. Love you, <laughs> you little demon. Anyways, <laughs> yes, let's talk about the readathon. I'm going to put a photo of the bingo board here. We're going to talk about it. Chloe did have some wrecks as well too. I'll probably insert them on the screen as well of all the wrecks you could possibly choose for some of these bingo cards and you can join anytime you want. This month in October is when it starts. Hopefully this video is out on Monday. Don't know when it'll come out to you, hopefully, because I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. And you can participate with the link below of the Bungho server or as well too on Instagram. You can tag us and stuff, mention us as well too if you want to join. It's free, no payment required, just a fun little bookish thing with all of us besties. So yeah, figure something cozy, fallish, vibe, creepy for this month in October. And then two, let's talk about it. So the graphics, the first one we have is a nature-esque book, which is the mushroom. Obviously for that one, I want to pick little mushroom because obviously it has mushroom on there and as well too it's nature-esque with the world of the sci-fi you know danme so i figured this and too i'm currently reading it as well <laughs> i'm not that far into it so i figure i can finish it in october hopefully i've been enjoying it i haven't picked it up in a few days so hoping to finish this one for this prompt as well too we have the heart one which is a romance book or a book you loved so i feel like picking a romance book because I'm currently listening to the audiobook. I'm not done with it, so hopefully I can finish it next month, which is Twist of Hay by Anna Huang. I heard this is really good as well, too. I've been obviously listening to it, and I think it's pretty good so far. And obviously, it's romance. It has got some money in there. I think this is definitely better than Twisted Love from what I've read, <laughs> obviously. And she's a chonker as well, too. This book, like, oh my god, it's like 500-something pages. It's 500 and freaking four pages. So I'm glad I got the audiobook for this and hopefully I can finish it next month in October. Next up we have The Lees, which is read a book set during the fall or has fall vibes. Um, I wanted to pick a manga for this because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to have much time to read too much. So I feel like this fits perfectly, which is Devil's Candy. This is a manga. Um, I really love the colors of this and as well too. It's obviously going to like said during like the fall season like halloweeny ish so and then too like looking through the artwork is so cool i'm hoping it's set like during the fall because i don't know how this works with this world but i feel like it would still count because like it's kind of like monsters and stuff i feel like it'd be set during the fall season like what do you think i feel like it does <laughs> yeah i'm hoping to read this one next month hopefully i can get to it because it's not that long it's a manga i really love the art style it's so fun and as well too like look at the covers they're so cute but yeah i'm hoping to read this one next month in october this is volume two as well i read the first one last year so i'm hoping to continue it because i figured i do it during the fall season halloweeny season so it's perfect for the readathon for me to read next up we have a coffee emoji which is book featuring a drink on the cover i was debating between a actual book or a manga as well with this one so i figured i do a manga just in case because i'm not sure i'm gonna have time to read books like i said so i was thinking of this one that i haven't opened that i bought last year which is hi i'm a witch and my crush wants me to make a love potion this is volume one i haven't even unwrapped it from kanuya from like i said last year and it has a love potion which is technically like a drink because you know potions are liquids of sorts it counts benna snap baby benna snap the rules we're not limiting to rules on this obviously it's more like a fun cozy season like i said bestie so yes and as well too it's got like more liquid substances on the back as well so i feel like it counts you know <laughs> next up we have just a maple leaf a single leaf which is book with a one word title and this one i was debating between like a few to be honest like <laughs> there's a lot of one word title of books i have not read that i could read this month in october and i figured why not this one because i have the audiobook coming soon to me on hold and 
I have it signed by the author when I met them. And I feel like it'd be perfect to read it because it's almost about to hit. I think it's already hit a year since I met the author. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, Rouge, which is by Mona Awad. I've had this for a while, like I said, and it's a one word title. I can't wait to read it. I feel like it'd be fun and perfect for October as well because it's kind of like the beauty industry and like Beauty and the Beast too inspiring, I believe. So yeah, dealing with a lot of makeup and stuff. But yeah, I have it signed. <laughs> Let me take off the sticky note. <laughs> I have it and two, Mona also has another one word title book called Bunny. So there you go, a little suggestion. So yeah, I figure I read or listen to Rouge uh, while I, you know, annotate it. I'm going to see if I want to annotate it. I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I annotated Bunny. But yes, I'm hoping to read Rouge next month. I'm really hoping I get to it because, oh, I want a Mona a one book. Next up, we have a candle, which is like a candle while reading. I will probably do it with the next prompt mashed together possibly, which is the pine cone one. Read a book under 100 pages. For these two ones, the candle and the one under 100 pages, I'm thinking of doing Devil's Candy volume three so I can continue, you know, the series. I think two, I don't know, volume four is out. I need to go check Kanuya. But yeah, I, it's not wrapped either. <laughs> I haven't unwrapped it. So I'm hoping to read this one. And I feel like too, this one's gonna be more interesting as well. Cause like on the back, there's more like rocker people on it. And more characters obviously i can't wait to see within the school i'm excited to read and continue this manga series next up a book that's hot right now a popular book so bend the snap baby because technically this is a very popular series within the fandom it's never unpopular in the dame community so i'm pretty sure you already know what i'm gonna say tgcf but specifically volume six <laughs> i'm scared because i know this is like the heartbreaking one and two i can't wait <laughs> Yes, I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm looking at it. I'm like, ah, look at Shillian's face and Hua. I'm not ready. So yeah, I'm hoping to read this book because as well too, I'm going to better read it with Chloe. So it's for sure going to be a read for this month. So there's going to be a vlog with this as well. If you want to see that in the future coming. Yeah, I'm hoping to read <laughs> this one for this prompt. I'm nervous. And two, did you see if it's so popular? Like it's never going to die down. I feel like too with the fandom. And then two, when they release season three, it's never going to calm down. So I feel like it's perfect for the prompt, at least in my opinion. And then last but not least, we have the pumpkin one, which is read a creepy book, horror, thriller, mystery. You know, something that's not lighthearted a bit, I feel like. So I was debating between an Isabel Canas book or this book, which is Moriarty, the Patriot, volume three, because I'm reading volume two. I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow. So it's not going to be done in October. I figured volume three would be good because this series is more focused on mysteries and stuff and cases. And of course, too, James <laughs> and <laughs> Sherlock. So yeah, I feel like this is going to be very interesting for me to read. I'm excited. So yeah, continuing as well to another manga series that I started. And obviously, Chloe really likes this or two as well okay i got the book because chloe mentioned it in her video i was watching it before i filmed mine because <laughs> she can send it on private or like with the link thing and she can only send it to specific people so i saw the video <laughs> i hear you chloe bestie so another option is a study in charlotte this is the one chloe gifted me during christmas i believe last year which i have not gotten a chance to read i don't even have the note i think i taped it in my journal thing that i have for notes but Yes, I'm hoping to read this. <laughs> Another possible buddy read next month with Chloe. We'll see if we get to it. But I know too, this is like a mystery as well too. A Sherlock would make a female and as well too younger audiences. It's a series as well, so I can't wait to read this. It's a trilogy? I could have sworn it was longer. Yeah, hopefully I can read this as well. If not, we have a manga. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video of my TBR and as well too. I hope you all joined the readathon. It would mean a lot to me and to us if you do. It'd be fun. And as well too in the server if you do want to join it. Actually, I forgot to mention if you join the server, it's going to be cozy, fun. We're going to have a great time. And if there's enough people, we'll do games like Among Us or Mario Kart. Like the fun things. But yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you all have a good day, good night, morning. Whatever time it is for you when this video reaches you. And until next time, I'll see you very soon. I have so much content still ahead of y'all. <laughs> for it's it's crazy i don't know how i'm filming so much stuff i don't know but i take forever to edit things i'm sorry anyways bye